in the return game. Willie Williams, I'll tell you a little bit about what he told me. Good kick. It is Itiaki who drops it at the five. Lee with nice coverage, but he does get free. 15, 20, 25, 30, out to the 40, and they had him wrapped up, it looked like, inside the 10. Micah Johnson with the stop, but he just made one little juke, and Willie Williams did tell me he was concerned about kick coverage from last week, but he thought it was the speed of Lufkin, and they give up 40 yards there. Well, you see that happen a lot when they mishandle the ball and the kick, the surge coming down the field, pulling towards him. He just knifes through two to two lead defenders and cuts down the far sideline before he's tackled by Micah Johnson. For Lee up front, again, they're going to move a lot of people around. Cordero Mumphrey and Ricky Sherfield are the defensive ends. Sam Banks, or is that Osborne? It is Osborne at defensive tackle, the nose tackle, three-man front. We'll get to the rest of the defense in a moment. Back to throw, draw play, Nance at the 45, first down, midfield, secondary, and he could go. 30, 20, knocked down by a cheeky inside the 15-yard line. And on the first play of the game, Dimitri Nance goes 44 yards against the lead defense. Simple draw play, gets a nice hole up the middle behind his center Simmons and the right guard pulling back that way, open the door for him, nobody at home for Lee, and he just tracks down the field and he's brought down deep in the secondary and Trinity's knocking at the door to start the ball game. Sam Banks now checks in at nose tackle. First play, 40 yard kick return, second play, 44 yard draw play. At the Lee 16 is where they mark him down. This is Itiaki left tackle for three, tough yards. Bo Banbury, the middle linebacker, the senior, on the stop for Lee, the linebackers, Trevor Reed, Bo Bambry, and also in the game, Matt Uzel. Safeties are Nick Mitchell, Eric Ajiki, the cornerbacks, Quet Nicholson and Micah Johnson, and Lance Heap, the senior, who came after being hurt last week, continued to play later in the game. He will start at the banded position, also kind of a rover safety linebacker combination. Gain of four on the play for Itiaki, and Euless Trinity knocking on the door. Here is Itiaki again, left tackle at the 10. Here's a flag down, and it looked like a holding call. Eric Ajiki stops him at the three-yard line along with Matt Uzel, but Saya Falahala, I think, may be getting caught with a hole at about the 10-yard line. Let's see the call. Again, the officials from Fort Worth, and Lee off to a very, very, very ominous start here with two huge runs of 40 and 44, holding against Trinity, the call and Lee gets a break. Craig Smoke is on our sidelines again. It's Saya Falahala, the 310 pound junior, hit with the holding call. Otherwise, Trinity would have had first and goal inside the Robert E. Lee five yard line. And thank goodness Eric Ajiki's out there because he's already made two big tackles, saved a kickoff return, going a touchdown, and that time knocks him down inside the five. Very very fragile defense right now, mentally because they gave up a lot of yards to Lufkin, but physically because of the four players not starting. Van Zant, DeHaven, Skates, and Stripling. Trey Welch, remember, has three touchdown passes. Hammock has caught two of them, and Vitato is a guy that will chunk it with 300 yards in two games. Motion. Draw play, Nance, left tackle, nice job by Banbury, and Dominique Van Zandt has checked in here. So defensive coordinator Randy Huffstickler and assistant head coach Jay Law saying, okay, we were hoping to go without him, we need you now, come on in. Well, they read the play beautifully, and Banbury's there to hit the tailback first, just as he gets towards the line of scrimmage, and they push him back down. No black shirts to block the white-shirted lead players on that play. So now third down, and 16 for 
Trinity at their tw at the lead 22 yard line, so no gain on the play. And again, they were knocking on the door in the game for Lee. Saron Black, the All-State tackle on offense, now in at nose tackle on defense. And Idiaki in on the bench, back to throw. Vitato has time over the middle man, wide open. He should have caught it for a touchdown, but he overshoots the receiver. Number 25, Randy was wide open. That is Lederick Handy. Well, Vitato, he was chased out of the pocket to the far side. Give credit to Ricky Sherfield for applying pressure coming from his left side defensive end position, forcing the quarterback out of his element, so to speak, and he just throws the ball about 10 feet too high for his intended receiver. He could have lobbed that thing yeah, up it like a, a wounded duck, and he would have had no one around him. George Faber, by the way, checking in for Lee, and they will kick a field goal or at least attempt one. This will be 39 yards from Robert Palos. Snap. Hold by Welch, kick is on its way, high and short, and off to the right as well. And Robert E. Lee, Craig Smoke, very, very shaky start, and they do dodge a big bullet, don't they? They do dodge a big bullet, and Bo Bambry, Trevor Reed, Matt Uzel, and Lance Heap coming in this game had a combined 38 tackles, 33 tackles, pardon me, and the four they replaced, uh, Cole Skates, Warren D. Haven, Dominic Van Zant, and Jason Stripling all combined for 68 tackles, so you can tell there's a big difference there. So hopefully these four guys can come and make a stop after that first shaky drive. Lee will take over after, again, they stop them on the big holding call at their 22-yard line. Lone setback is Jason Williams. They run T.Y. outside at the 20-25. Makes the first one miss, first down 30, and a nice tough run from Tyrone Ross in what looked like maybe a late hit at the end of the play. Matt Holland and Brian Culp on the seal block on the outside for the Red Raiders first down. For Lee up front, it is Black, Sam Banks, Andrew Bailey, the junior, gets the start at center this uh, tonight. Brian Culp, Matt Holland, John Giles, the tight end. We'll see Jonah Murphy as well. Receivers, Walter Simpson, D'Angelo Jones, and Tony Bush. Murphy in motion. Left tackle, Jason Williams, 40 first down, 45. Here's a flag at the end of the play. The referee, Joel Brial, and that thing came after Williams was into the secondary, and it could be one of those nights where we see a lot of laundry on the stop that time. Number 35 for Trinity, D'Angelo Jones. Kerry Ainsworth making the signal downfield may have been guilty of the hold, and that wipes out a 12-yard first down. Andrew Bailey at the center position was up front on top of the linebacker, Lopetti Tevi, and he... He pulled him back down from his backside, and the referee is there following the play. Like you mentioned, eight or nine yards behind Jason Williams running down the field. Williams will get credit, Randy, for a four-yard gain, but they'll mark it off ten yards from that point, and it's now first and 15 for Robert E. Lee at the 32-yard line. Josh Hill, the quarterback, Giles in motion. Left hash, back to throw. Blitz coming, steps up. Pass caught by Giles. He has the original line of scrimmage back and a little bit more out to the 40. Nice, safe play. Gain of eight, and he checked off a couple of different times. Jordan Jones and Trocken Tompo, the safety on the stop for Trinity. Just a good fake that time. He looked downfield. The blitz is coming from the middle from Tevy, the middle linebacker. He just throws the ball in the flat to his safety valve receiver. Giles makes the catch and turns up field for Lee. So second down and eight. We do expect a track meet. A lot of points. Lee at the 40-yard th the line. Simpson split far side. Now P Price goes in motion. First time we've mentioned him, they run that counter. He breaks a tackle, goes outside 40. Midfield in a first down into Trinity territory. Tompo on the stop, and guess who threw a block downfield? It was the quarterback, Josh Hill, and Peyton Price stacked up at the line of scrimmage, picks up big yardage in a first down, gain of 18. Peyton Price is a part of HOSA, Health Occupation Students of America, and he wants to be a doctor when he grows up. Here's Price up the middle, tough couple of yards, down inside the 40, crosses down to the 39 for a gain of three yards. Let's set the Trinity defense, Randy. Henry Nuete and Michael Shrimpshire are the defensive ends. Tuola Lolatai and Moaki Uppo are the defensive tackles. Been working on this all week. Ryan Foster, Jordan Jones, the outside linebackers. Lopetti Levy, uh, Tevi is the uh, middle linebacker. Daniel Hewitt and Jamar Feimster, the corners. And Aquila Itiaki Trocantampo, the safeties. Jason Williams outside, runs over his offensive lineman, gets a couple more. That thing took a long way to develop. Brian Culp on the pull block, and Lee has a, a third and short at the 36-yard line. Simpson far side, Josh Hill reverse T.Y. Now he keeps it, gets away. 
40, 35, Price downfield, and Josh Hill may go. 10, 5, block Price, touchdown. 36 yards, touchdown. Josh Hill was bottled up at the line of scrimmage, and the one thing the league coaching staff told me, Randy, is this Trinity team will get in position, but they are very, very poor tackling team. We saw it again right there. And it was a defensive end, Henry Nuite, who forced Josh, who was going to run the naked bootleg, or actually bend back outside and throw to a receiver, which he had wide open 15 yards down the field, and instead he is able to get away from Nuite and break it down the side, near sideline for six. Preston Hill will be the uh, deep uh, snap holder here. Takes the snap. Josh Hill extra point it is good confidence builds there 705 to go first quarter I've been told Walter might be the holder Preston does a great job his brother scores it's seven nothing Lee 705 first quarter back in one minute in a game where Robert E. Lee looked like they were going to go down seven nothing pretty early they lead seven nothing with 705 to go first quarter and a couple of very big plays off missed tackles Josh Hill goes 36 uh, yards on the touchdown, but the lead drive is six plays, 78 yards, and 217, and uh, Josh adds on the extra point. And now he'll kick off <laughs> from his 40, left-footed, very nice and deep, and Nance will feel this at about the 9, 15, 20. Good job that time by Lee on their coverage teams. And again, Willie Williams told me over and over and over again, they worked on this all week long. Justin Hansen and Nick Mitchell made the actual stop, the safety for Robert E. Lee. So the Red Raiders defense kind of punctured a little bit that first drive. There is a flag down, apparently, and they're going to have to re-kick this. Way on the other side of the field at the 40, and most likely that means that Lee jumped off sides on the kickoff return. And you know what? You get a great job on the coverage, Randy. Well, they did. And they got to go back and run that 40-yard dash again, and, and you got to be careful here. You don't have somebody that's winded. This is a good time to mention the new turf. We were down on it, Carrie and I, uh, earlier this evening, and it's new. It's brand new. It's kind of slick in spots, and uh, hopefully Lee can keep their footing tonight. And uh, that play, they just got off sides on the kick, and it cost them five and a re-kick. So okay. Lee will have to kick it again at the 35, and Josh Hill, who, by the way, you know, remember last week he ran out of bounds. He got knocked out of bounds by Hewitt and, he came up with that injured thumb. I saw his thumb. Let me tell you something. I, I, I kind of, I, I'll throw up over uh, like a, you know, a squash roach. I mean, I'm out of there. He has basically from his thumb down to the, the, webbing, the right. webbing of his hand, his skin was gone. Well, he showed it to Kerry and I out before the game. And it, I think he's kind of proud of it, over to be honest with you. Yeah. I, you know, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a scar. It's a war. Uh, Go ahead. War wound. Yeah. And he said it was a Lufkin player's helmet that his hand got jammed and into. And the face mask, And right? the face mask, yeah. And that's what caused the cut. All right, good coverage that time. And so Lee will need to do it again. We do see Takari and Cuban out there. There was a question about his uh, availability tonight. He's a great special teams player. As Lee will now kick from their 35. Josh Hill this time kind of squibs it. It bounces around and hits around. And they're going to get great field position. But Lee will be there at the 37-yard line. And the return to Villa on the return, Matt Uzel. And Apudica, Chris Apudica, the uh, tailback, also on the stop. And that time, Lee gives up about the five yards as far as the return to where they start to drive at the 37-yard line. So, Vitato, you say Vitato, I'll say Vitato. And the quarterback, the junior, had a nice-looking drive going. And he's got a couple of weapons, two receivers, Hammock and Welch. And they both come this way. Uzel, Bambry, and Reed, the linebackers on this particular set. They run it outside to Dimitri Nance for just a couple of yards. Lance Heap with a nice stop for Robert E. Lee, the bandit. And Cordero Mumphrey also there, Ricky Sherfield for Robert E. Lee. Thanks for all those of you listening tonight, whether you're at another game or at the home tonight or on the Internet, wherever you might be around the country, on KTBB and Smokey.com. Here is the quarterback, Vitato, running the option, and he gets stuck at the 30 or 44-yard line but picks up seven yards. Knocked down that time by Micah Johnson, the cornerback, who will come up and stick you. It brings up third and short. Give him six in the play, Randy, and it's now third down and two. And there's big number 77 running right in front of me, pulling from his right guard position on the option play. The quarterback never looked back to the tailback, kept the ball all the way, and uh, Moatile brings a load at 376. Man, uh, you're talking 260, 310, 240, 376 pounds with pretty good feet. He's, his number 77, it looks like two anchors on his back, and Chris <laughs> Eyed at 330, and against a very... Very small lead defense. 
Here's Vitato off left tackle. Nance in the secondary. Lee 45, and he's got a caravan. Cuts back against the grain. 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Oh, my goodness, this guy can go. Dimitri Nance goes 55 yards. And, folks, a lot of missed tackles. And this lead defense right now, battered and bruised, and they got bruised again. Eric Ajiki trying to make the stop. And I thought Nance may have done Lee a favor when he went back against the grain, but it actually was setting up a block downfield. Well, upfield at about the 40-yard line, he escapes Quentin Nicholson's grasp as well. And Nicholson just whiffed at him, and he made a nice cut back inside, and he had four black shirts in front of him running down the field. Nice play execution for Trinity. Man, I tell you what, they just he was gone. He was gone when he turned the corner. Low snap, Welch will pick it up. Remember now he's a receiver, throws it in the end zone, and it's tipped in the air and caught for two. You got to be kidding me. Number 40, Jordan Scroggins. 519 to go, a bad snap. Welch rolls to his right, throws it in the back of the end zone, tipped in the air by a lead defender, and Scroggins catches it. And the Trojans of Trinity lead Lee, 8-7 with 5-19 to go back in 30 seconds. Here's Palos, the kick very high. And it's uh, Apudica at about the three. Drops it, picks it up, 5, 10, 15, 20. Breaks a tackle, 25, 30. He's got some jets, 40, 44-yard line. And Chris Apudica, again, they gave up two long kick returns against DeSoto. Palos, the kicker, makes the stop. And Apudica that time ran over somebody at about the 25 and a great return to the 45. 508 left, lead down 8-7. They trailed last week throughout the uh, second, third, and fourth quarters. Josh to Tyrone in the backfield and loses three or four. And it's game tackle deluxe. 83 on the stop for Trinity that time. And that is Mino Ali. And they are blowing up Robert E. Lee right now on that particular play. They've run the counter. Peyton Price got the chance to get some yardage, but T.Y. loses three. Well, right up the middle, Trinity is especially strong, or they appear to be at the outset. Lee's not able to get much of a push. We're going to have to see if Lee can go outside or throw the ball down the field. They can get to throw open the up, ball. Yeah, open up the middle of the field and the line especially. Get, they're going to they're gonna have, to, they're gonna have to throw the ball to keep the safeties from coming up, which they love to do and blitz the safeties. Defensive coordinator for Trinity is Peter G., and by the way, the defensive line coach is Donald Tryon from Longview High School, graduate of the Lobo. Second down and 13. Tight end far side, left hash. Giles in motion. Josh will throw. Steps up in trouble. Scrambles. Now has to run with it and goes down for no gain. He could have come this way, but it's hard to say that when you've got a bunch of guys coming at you. Tomko, again, the senior safety who can come at you with another stop and let's give Josh a half a yard third and long. Hill is in the shotgun with T.Y. Josh will throw it. Now steps up and runs. In trouble, sacked. Lost two yards. Back at the 40, and they are getting in his space. And great coverage downfield by the Trojans of Trinity. And on the stop, Ollie, number 83, and Lee's Josh Hill now will punt to Trinity and lead down 8-7. to seven. And again, the Trojans' offense has not yet been stopped. They stopped themselves with the holding call and the missed field goal. Now that's just a great coverage sack on the play. Josh Hill had nowhere to go. Try to cut back inside, and three or four black, black shirts are there to swallow him up. Back deep is Welch and Hammock for the Trojans. Deep snap to Giles. Gets off the punt. Nice turnover punt again. Hammock at the 17, at the 20. 25, and knocked down close to the 28-yard line. Nick Mitchell, who's been on two special teams tackles. James Wilson, 82, also there, and so was Lance Heap. Now, the defensive Lee, who I'm sure heard an earful from Huff Stickler and Williams and Law and Reed, will now need to show something here because they've been butchered on their first two series. 43-yard punt. Josh Hill, Randy, on the year. Punting the football, had a great week last week punting against Lufkin. Josh Hill on the year averaging right now 47.9 yards per punt. And there's a flag down at the end of the play, which is going against Trinity. I'm usually pretty good about picking out the Hankies, and this is a 10-yard illegal block in the back against the Trojans. We'll set them back at the 16. So Lee, if they can get a defensive stop, should get great field position, but that's the question, can they get a defensive stop? You can see the lead coaches, Mike Owens, Jay Law down on their sideline. Here's a patch off left tackle, near first down yardage for a gain of eight or nine. 
Trevor Reed, the linebacker on the stop, but Itiaki, the deep man that time, and he they're just getting into the secondary of Lee in a hurry. It's second down in a yard. Well, there's not very good containment at the moment for Lee. It's taking the safety to make the tackle, and that's not good unless he's on the top of the line of scrimmage. And Itiaki is coming back from a great season last year, and he hadn't played much at tailback, as you mentioned, at the opening of the contest, and uh, he's a pretty – Pretty good little back. Second down, he's a great looking back. Second down, he is the deep man here at the 25 yard line. Batato, the quarterback to the fullback, and he has a first down, five, six, eight yards out to the 33 yard line, and a gain of eight yards on second down and a yard. And that was a fullback dive for a gain of eight yards. Lance Heap and Cordero Mumphrey on the stop that time, but the Trojans give it to the fullback. And he gains eight yards. He goes right off the hip of Moatile on the right guard, just pushes straight forward, and he rides off his hip and picks up. Nice gain. That's Lederick Handy for a gain of eight, his first carry of the game. First down, Trinity, with a minute 50 to go first quarter. The Trojans lead, lead by one. Tight end of the near side in motion. Far side, they give it up the middle. Itiaki first down, 40. Well, just shy of a first down. They ran that ISO, and that's the play that in 2001, Johnson and Heap on the stop for Lee. Bambry was there as well. Substitutions coming in the game for Lee. This is McKenzie, uh, Jacoby McKenzie in a defensive tackle. That's the ISO that ate, Robert, uh, ate up Lufkin in the 2001 semifinals. Uh, they're just getting great push from their line. Once again, to the right side, Moatow and Ede pushing back, and they're large, and they're just getting a nice forward push for the Trinity Trojans. Second down and two. Second down and one. Now this time it's second down and two. Here's the handoff. This is Nance. They had him in the backfield. Pulls forward. Very close to a first down. He's short by about a half a yard. Banbury was there for Lee. So was McKenzie and James Wilson, 82. They had him in about the 41. He leans forward and close to a first down. They're going to bring out the sticks, but he's a full yard, looks like Randy, short of the first down with under a minute to go in the first quarter. And the one thing I don't see here, and it might be because, again, you have a lot of guys that have not played a lot together, but the aggressiveness and the excitement and, in a lot of ways, the, the up-tempo defensive play that we normally see, guys jumping around, jacked up a little bit. It looks like Lee's kind of going through the motions right now. Well, James Wilson in the game at defensive end made the initial contact on Nance. He's able to squirm away, and three or four white shirts converge to make the stop. He's a full yard, pretty much, well, just about a yard. Doesn't make a difference. It's, it's more than a couple of lengths of the football short of the first down. Dimitri Nance has four carries for 103 yards. And now Hanby comes in as one of the deep men. On Itiaki's more their power back, who's also a strong safety. You know you're a pretty tough kid as a running back when you also play strong safety. 51 seconds to go. And two of the carries for Nance have been for 99 yards total. Yeah, 44 on one and 55 on his scoring run. Amazing. Third down, Trinity. Clock runs under 50 seconds to go. First quarter, 8-7, Trinity leading lead by a point. And they'll go double tight set. Vitato up the middle, first down, Itiaki. And he leans to the 46-yard line right up in the gut. Bambry was there along with... Nick Mitchell and Matt Uzel, but a gain of three, and Itiaki gives them a load, even though he's a safety not as big as Nance, and it's first down Trojan. Wilson in the game for Lee on the near side as the defensive end. They run Nance up the middle, breaks a tackle, gains five or six. Nice stop that time made by Matt Uzel, but a gain of seven yards on first down. It's second down and three, and they are now in Lee territory at the 47-yard line. Well, they're getting seven and eight yards, at least on this drive on first down, and uh, that's, that's not a good sign at all. And then we have a time and play, David. I think Lee uh, is going to have a nice little talk here at the end of the first quarter with our score. Trinity eight, Lee seven. Trinity driving again back in 60 seconds. Vitato in the shotgun, two uh, running backs right next to him. Audibles here on second and three. Draw play, Nance off right tackle, first down inside the 45 to the third, uh, 43 yard line. Bambry and Quet Nicholson on the stop, and Ajiki, excuse me. <clears throat> and a gain of five yards and a first down. They're making it look very, very easy. Or eye behind him. This is the fullback, Hanby, and he doesn't get anything. Nice job by Lee up front. 
Wilson was there. Trevor Reed as, as well at the end. And so was the big defensive tackle down at the bottom of the pile. Wilson will check out here, and Lee gets a nice stop for the first time tonight on first down at second and nine. And that may be the big play they can have on this current drive for Trinity as they march down the field. They took the ball at 252 of the first quarter, and they still retain possession. Second down, in fact, he got nothing on that play. Hanby has now two carries for eight yards. Boy, nice to see a turnover. Here's shotgun Vitato off tackle into the secondary. Hanby first down inside the 30. And he wasn't touched until he had 10 yards. Down to the 25-yard line and a gain of 18 yards for Hanby. And they are running that delay. Moatow with a key block. And Robert E. Lee's defense now, second time they've let a big hand be get loose for double-digit yardage. Well, when Trinity tries to go power straight up the middle, they gain nothing. But that delay has worked for huge amounts of yardage. They're probably closing in on about 175 running the ball just in the first half. Well, they got yeah, 51, 56, 171 yards. And what's worse about that, Randy, is we're talking about on 16 carries. Wow. Colby Ray in for Robert E. Lee at the defensive end. Here's Dimitri Nansen. They're going to pump fake, throw it over the middle. Nice coverage from Quet Nicholson. And Vitato may have done Lee a favor right there because they're running the ball down Robert E. Lee, and they go to throw the football to try to balance it up. Great coverage, pass incomplete at second down. Bobble snap, but the receiver, Welch, is the holder with very nice presence of mind to throw the ball in the end zone for two. They run that fake up the middle. Nance gets about three or four. Nice job by Lee to get in his face. He picked up about five. Down to the 21-yard line. Trevor Reed on the stop for Robert E. Lee. And that big, huge offensive line leaning on an undersized defense. Banks, Bambry, and Reed there. And here's a very big play, Randy. Third down and six for Trinity at the Lee 21-yard line. Well, if I'm the Trinity offensive coordinator, I run... I run that delay again and try to get out wide, and once they do, they can get positive yardage and probably get a first down and more. Okay, Bambry's very do. good tackle to tackle. The Haven's very good sideline. There's a timeout for Trinity here. We're going to keep it here. You lose the speed of skates, yep. the speed of stripling, the speed as well of Dominique Van Zandt, and you also lose the speed of the Haven who can go sideline to sideline. And again, these other kids are playing their hearts out, but you can see the difference in the team speed, and I think Trinity as well feels that because one thing Lineweaver, Steve Lineweaver, the head coach of the Trojans, told me he was very concerned about the defensive speed, but he wasn't sure about players playing or not. And obviously right now these kids are getting valuable time, and boy, wouldn't just an, any kind of stop be a big deal for them. Third and six, Trinity. Tight end, far side, right in the middle of the field, straight eye formation. Welch in motion. Vitato, delay, Itiaki, first down, 15-yard line, a gaping hole. Trevor Reed makes the stop, but he got nine yards down to the lead, 12-yard line, it's first down. Well, credit their line up front. They're just really having their way with Lee's defensive front. As you mentioned, they're much larger. They're getting a great push, and there was you could run a truck through that hole, and Itiaki just dances right through it. And that delay, once again, is, is just eating the lunch of the Lee defense. We had a great angle from where we are in the press box looking down towards the what is the east side of the stadium, the hole that Itiaki had, and it was massive. First down, Trinity at the 12 of Lee. Vitato, this is Itiaki for about a yard or two down to the 10. Nice job by Uzel and Lance Heap to close in that time for Robert E. Lee on defense. And Lee is just not showing much emotion right now. Mainly you got a mixture of the young players and backups, and this is when a couple of seniors have to step up and kind of take charge. Ajiki, Mitchell, et cetera, it's second down and eight. Great game plan for Coach Lineweaver. David, this is the 14th, Keeping the clock going. 14th play of the drive, and they're hitting over six minutes uh, right now with this play. And again, while they have the ball, that means Lee's offense does not that Steve Lineweaver was so concerned about. Very smart. You're right. Time of possession. Second down and eight. They run that play action pass. He's got a man open in the end zone. Pass tipped away, and a flag is down. And they're going to call pass interference on the safety, I think, at Jiki for going over the back of the receiver in the end zone, and this will give Trinity, if that is what the call is, the ball at the lead two-yard line. Again, a play action. Vitato rolls to his right, throws in the end zone, pass interference against Ajiki, and Lee will have the ball, or Trinity has the ball at the Robert E. Lee two-yard line. It's first and goal. 
Well, Ajiki comes over, makes a nice play, plays the ball, it appears, but he does cross over the right shoulder pad of the intended receiver. He makes contact with the ball, and obviously the official's got a better view than we do as he's sitting right there in the back of the end zone. He throws the, fi the flag. Quentin the Nicholson football. comes out for Lee, and you know they're going to go with the power. Saron Black is in the game. Lee will go with a four-man front with Banks and Black. But it's first and goal Trinity with that big, huge offensive line. Vitato, Itiaki dives into the end zone, over the pile, touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt, and they keep that thing a long time with 8.32 to go second quarter at Pennington Field. The Trojans of Trinity lead Robert E. Lee 14-7 with the extra point to come. Just a straight blast off a of right guard. He just takes a leap into the end zone, get a great push, push from his offensive front and uh, scores the six points. So here comes Palos, the uh, kicker, who was two for four coming into the game and has still not attempted a kick. The hold is Welch, who throws the two-point conversion earlier. Here's the kick. It is up, and it is good. And Trinity leading Lee 15-7 to with 8.32 to go. The sparse crowd for Lee on the far side, wondering what is next. Back in one minute on News Talk 600 KTBB. Bedford, Texas, in between Fort Worth and Irving. It is 15 to 7. Trinity Trojans of Euless leading Robert E. Lee by eight. 15 plays, 60 yards, and six minutes and 20 seconds. They ground out the clock. Idiaki takes it over from two yards out, and the Trojans lead. 15 plays, 60 yards. 15 plays, 60 yards is a lot of plays for that amount of yards. It's Bush and Jason Williams back for Robert E. Lee, a pooch kick for Trinity. Lee will field it at the 26-yard line, and that's where they'll start this possession. Remember now, Lee had the ball second after they Brad Royal in the fair catch for Lee, and they scored on a 36-yard, kind of a busted bootleg play to Josh Hill, and it looked like it might kind of come easy. And then Trinity goes 55 yards with Nance on the touchdown run, and then they have a time-consuming, as you mentioned, time-consuming 60-yard, six-minute drive, and it's 15 to seven, and that two-point conversion decision is gonna give them that little extra something that is gonna force Lee to have to go for two if they get the opportunity to. Jones and Williams for Lee, the split receivers. Williams near side, and now there's a delay again as they give, I think they're gonna give him the full minute or the possibility of what's going on. Not sure, 8.29 to go second quarter. And I think they're gonna reset the, the uh, play clock. The play clock was, uh, Messed up again. The Fort Worth chapter: Briel, Morton, Johnson, Marsden, and Smith. And Lee now will. Uh, boy, this is already a game that's taking forever because of the nearly 20-minute. How officially, Randy, Mr. Stats? 22 minutes. 22-minute uh, blackout. And now I think they'll let this thing go. Here we go. Williams near side for Robert E. Lee. D'Angelo Jones the other way. T.Y. is the H back. And Peyton Price, the only back for Lee. Here's a quarterback bootleg. Hill gets the pass off. This is Peyton at the 40 and knocked down at the 48. And that is an amazing play by the quarterback, Josh Hill, who ran the bootleg. And as he was being brought down, had enough on it to throw it to Peyton for a gain of 21 on the first down. Yeah, it appeared to be Jonathan Smith that hit him low and started to bring him down. He got rid of the ball, and Price is his safety valve. Actually, in a screen situation, he makes the catch and picks up a nice gainer. 8.22 remaining, first down Lee, and they can at least take a little deep breath here because they had something positive on offense. That last drive was not very good because of a lot of the penetration. Lee at the 49. Outside, T.Y. gets around the corner, midfield, 45, and knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Tompo was there. Tony Bush with a nice block downfield for Robert E. Lee, but a gain of eight yards. And a, as we mentioned every game, Tyrone now has 21 yards, Randy, on three carries for his career, has 3,343 yards, exactly 400 away from the all-time rushing record of Derek Farmer. He picks up a nice gainer, but credit the Trinity defense for stretching the play out with Shrimpshire and Cialone pushing him out to the far side of the Lee's field. Lee's offense has got to set the tone now and try to come back and give the defense a reason to go out there and fight a little bit. Here's Josh on a play action, in trouble, gets away, missed tackle. Now comes the near side, throws it, caught T.Y., and a first down. And Lee did a great job of having nobody downfield. It was a bootleg again. 
and Josh broke another tackle and hits Tyrone Ross for a first down at the 41. Lola Ty was in on the blitz, but a gain of seven yards. Well, just a great magic at that time for Josh Hill. He, he was dead to rights, 10 yards back behind the line of scrimmage. He just... Wiggles his way free and finds his receiver, who Ross comes out on the near side. And makes Very the catch. aggressive. They blitz a lot, but you can break it too a lot if you can, again, keep your composure. Josh, T.Y. left tackle, gets a block, 35 30. First down, 20 10. Down inside the 10, keeps going to the 7. What a run from Tyron Ross and Peyton Price and Saran Black are the ones that opened it up, and it was T.Y. from there in a gain of 30 first and goal. 7.45 to go. Lee trails by 8. Double tight set. T.Y. outside needs a seal block. At the 5, down to the 4. That's a great tackle by Trocken Tompo, the senior. We've mentioned him a bunch because it looked like he was going to score. T.Y., when he gets the corner, is usually pretty tough. Giles with the block, but a gain of just two. Well, the block really never it never cleared him because there were two black shirts coming from behind. Uh, Giles did hit the linebacker, but there's Tompo, and as well, Itiaki, who was in the game, make, or Themester, pardon me, was there also on the stop. Sia Soe, Moe Kiola. Also causing trouble inside for Trinity. Second down and goal lead, double tight set. Lone setback, play action bootleg. Josh will walk into the end zone, touchdown. He'll actually dive into the end zone. The quarterback bootleg that time, and they went after T.Y., who's just getting up on the field. He was hit by Nuite in a nice block downfield from Walter Simpson, and Lee will go for two in the tie with 6.54 to go first half, and they have, of course, had their problems with the two-point conversion. And a great play call for Dow Wynn as he saw the type of aggressive attacking behavior that Trinity is pushing forward, and he just makes a nice call, fakes one way and runs back the other way for six. 6.54 to go, Lee down 15-13, full set backfield with Royal. Price and T.Y., Royal in motion. Josh back to throw. In trouble, steps up, throws it, caught. Two-point conversion. What a nice play, Peyton Price, and Lee ties it up. And Josh with a man in his face. Ryan Foster kept his composure, and we're tied at 15 with 6.54 to go. What a great drive when they needed it quite a bit. Let's see if the defense can get jacked up back in one minute. 6.54 to go in a electrifying first half. Power outage for about 22 minutes, 15-15 Trinity. And Robert E. Lee, we saw a scoring track meet last week. We're going to see one again tonight, Randy. Yeah, six plays, 73 yards, and 155 for Lee as they respond. And Josh Hill takes the bootleg in for six. And the two-point conversion to Peyton Price to tie the game. Micah Johnson is kicking off for Robert E. Lee. Josh Hill punts, kicks, Throws the touchdown or two-point conversion. Look, a line drive kick. Itiaki picks it up at about the one with his left hand. At the 10, 15, 20, nice tackle in open field. Justin Hansen. His mom was at Football 101 last night. She'll know exactly what happened there. Learned a little bit more about the game, and now the lead defense. I know that, Randy, they're battered, they're bruised, they're very thin. Four starters out tonight. Stripling skates to Haven and Van Zant, but somebody needs to step up and make a play. Yeah, this will be the fourth drive for a Trinity, and the first one stopped because of a penalty. Then they missed the field goal, and the last two they've scored on. So Lee has not had a defensive stop yet where it didn't result in uh, points except for the initial one of the evening for Trinity. See if Lee, because they're kind of being hit before they're able to react, if they don't bring some people here to possibly create some problems. Deep pitch back Nance, and they do, and they got him for a loss of about two or three yards, and somebody, I think Nick Mitchell, and that's exactly what I was talking about, to just kind of say, hey, listen, we're tired of, we're the ones taking your hits. We'll start giving you some, a loss of two. Well, here's the key to that. They brought him up towards the line of scrimmage, David, and if Trinity's smart, if they see him up on the line of scrimmage again, they'll try to run a tight end or a receiver over the middle, so Nick Mitchell has to be very careful where he's stationed, but they want to stop that delay, and that's a good way to do it, putting a safety up towards the line of scrimmage. Six minutes, 15 seconds, clock running, second quarter. Lee with the Osborne, the defensive tackle. Sherfield and Mumphrey, the defensive ends, and they've got to start getting some penetration themselves. Mitchell up on the line of scrimmage. Vitato back to throw. Play action. Has time. Heaves it deep, and he's got a man open. Caught it. 30. Knocked down at the 20. Wow. Micah Johnson, and he beat him on a post badly. I'm not so sure Eric Ajiki looks very upset because he's grabbing his hand. Not sure who got free, but 
He got 56 yards, lead blitzes, Trinity burns the blitz. Man-to-man yeah, -man coverage and uh, just a great job of execution for the quarterback. And he had a little, he had extra time to throw the balls. His line does a great job of keeping the lead blitz from getting at him. And he makes a, a connection at about the 30, and the receiver's brought down at the 20. Osborne in the game, James Wilson in the game for Lee as well. And that's 56 yards, and he throw that thing on a line on a rope. Look like a clothesline back in the days when you hung the clothes in the backyard, it was such a rope. All right, now they go back to pounding the ball. Nance off left tackle, 20, breaks a tackle, 10, and out of bounds close to another first down. He has it at the 10, at the 9, and a gain of 11 yards. They string it out. Lee does a pretty good job that time of trying to get containment, but he's able to just get around the corner along the sideline, picking up those additional few yards. Mm. For the first down. 128 yards from Dimitri Nance on nine carries. 5.27 to go. Lee had the momentum. It didn't last long in the second play, a 56-yard dart from Vitato to Hammock. And Trinity knocking on the door again. Jacoby McKenzie checks in for Lee at defensive tackle. Nance the deep back. Scroggins in motion. Nance play action, Vitato. Great block by the lineman. He wants to roll. He can run. At the 10, at the 5, fumbles the football. Lee does not seem to ever recover the fumbles, and they don't do it again. They had the fumble, remember, last week at the goal line with J Javorski Lane, and they really do struggle recovering fumbles. It's pretty amazing, the odds. Yeah. And, they, you know, again, they're, God bless them. They're doing everything they can to get it, but you've got to recover the fumbles. When you have that kind of defensive quickness, you've got to get on it. Saran Black checking in. The bottom line, though, Randy's he picked up about five, six yards. It looked like... Uh Looked like uh, Cordero Mumphrey made the hit. Cordero Mumphrey, but again, the ball does come loose, and they can't get it. Double tight set. Offset eye. Scroggins motion. Deep pitch back. Flag down. I think Lee jumped off sides. Nance outside to the goal line, and they give him the touchdown. Boy, it looked like he went out at the one, but it's going to be a touchdown here. I think Lee might have jumped off sides on the defensive right-hand side. And the official is not looking at anybody else, so I'm sure that's it. He comes all the way out to midfield, defensive offsides, and Trinity right back in front as they score again. 21-15 Trojans. Well, they're making it happen, and they're making it happen at the point of attack. And Lee, Lee is doing a little bit better job of stringing the play up, but they're not getting the Nance in time or Atiaki for that matter. And the Trojans take it in on a four-yard touchdown run. So now back in front, Trojans 21, Lee 15. Palos now into kick. Banks and Wilson will try to get some penetration. Here's snap, hold, kick up, and it is good. Our score, 4.18 to go, first half. Trojans have scored on three consecutive possessions to lead Robert E. Lee 22-15 back in 60 seconds. Trinity almost gave Lee a break when Vitato fumbled inside the five, but they don't recover, and Trinity on the very next play scores on a four-yard run from Dimitri Nance, and the Trojans now lead Robert E. Lee 22-15 with 4.18 to go first half at Pennington Field. Trojans go five plays, 74 yards in 219, and they respond, and they've done it three consecutive times, as you mentioned, David. Price, Royal, Williams, and Bush, the four deep men for Lee, high pooch kick, and this is Lee at the 20, Royal 25, out to the 30, puts his head down, keeps going, out to the 30, breaks a tackle, there's somebody with some energy and finally knocked down at the 40-yard line. They touched him, got on him at the 25-yard line, and that is a nice effort from Brad Royal, the senior, who picks up 20 yards with a lot of people scratching and clawing trying to bring him down. Now, 4.07 to go first half. Lee, remember, gets the second-half kickoff. Is that right, Randy? That's correct. So if they can score here and get it even, they get the second-half kickoff. Walter Simpson guy that they need to look at here is a possible way to loosen up that front seven of the Trinity Trojans who are doing a great job of stunning, but Lee has beaten them on a couple of occasions in that last drive. Ross the deep back. Right elbow heavily take double tight set. At the 40, T.Y., right tackle, bounces outside. Nothing there. Oh, and there comes a hit late. Maybe the guy was blocked into him 47 that time for Trinity, but also Alex... Kosh Royar, the defensive end, the backup defensive end on the stop and a gain of nothing. Ten. Bush in the slot. Amy split receiver. Williams near side. 
Josh back to throw, steps up. Now looks for another receiver, now has to run to the near side. Trying to find somebody, now he does. Pass, caught at midfield. Nice catch. One official looks at the other, and they do rule it a catch. And I think that's Jacob Amy. It is the sophomore, Jacob Amy, 6'3", 206, who makes a diving catch at the 49-yard line, gain of nine, and a great job by Josh Hill, but a better job by the offensive line not to get downfield to have that thing brought back. Well, everything worked that well that time. Once again, Trinity's doing a great job in coverage. Hill rolls back around. He gets a nice block to give him more time from Giles on the inside. Giles also helping out, Phil. Double, a tight end is Murphy. Third in the yard, T.Y. hurdles for three, down to the 47. Nice tough run, and there's still guys going at it. Saran Black, and here's a flag down. 32, Lapetti Tevi threw a punch, I think. It's Saran Black after that play, and that should go against Trinity, but we're not sure. 2.48 to go. Saran was just kind of looking at him after the play, after the first down pickup. Dead ball, personal foul against Trinity, and that's a good call because Saran never raised his hands and a gain of 15 after the three-yard first down from T.Y. T.Y. doing it inside, tough yardage, gets a nice block from the left-hand side along with Black. Sam Banks opens up a little bit of a hole, and T.Y. is able to wiggle through it, through it and now Lee's going to have the ball deep in Trinity territory. At maybe. the 30-yard line, Randy, and again, remember the great catch by Amy on this drive that gave him second down or third down and short. And Tevy, by the way, gets an earful from Lineweaver. Lee will have Simpson and Bush split far side, and they only have one defensive back over there. Shotgun, T.Y. in motion. Watch out for the middle screen. Josh throws it back to Bush at the 30, 25, 20. Forget about catching him. He will score. <laughs> Touchdown, Robert E. Lee and the Trackster, the triple jump champion, Great kick out block, Walter Simpson, 30 yard touchdown. Great scheme. And what sold it was the motion near side from T.Y. And quarterback looked that way initially, come, comes back and throws the tunnel screen to Bush. He makes the catch, cuts inside of two black shirts and just motors his way in untouched for six. Walter Simpson throws the shield. And I tell you what, did you see Tony Bush oh. turn on the afterburners? See you later, He baby. split a couple of guys who had the angle. Here comes the extra point, 22-21 Trinity, 2.34 to go in the half. Preston with the hold, Josh with the kick, and he drilled it. Both teams keep on scoring. Who's going to give it up first? 2.34 to go in the half. We're tied at 22. 2.34 remaining first half, and what a first half this has been. 21 or 22-22. Lee on a 30-yard touchdown pass, and the extra point has tied it up. Randy? Four plays, 60 yards, and 131. The touchdown pass from Hill to Bush for Robert E. Lee. Micah Johnson is the cornerback, left-footed kicker. There are a lot of left-footed kickers on this roster. He will kick off, and they need to keep it away from Nance and Itayaki. Nice, very line drive kick, though, The Nance at the 5. Looks for the wedge at the 10. 15, 20, watch out. 30, nice open field tackle. Jeremy Moore. The backup corner, here's a guy, by the way, that makes a tackle that otherwise Nance was off to the race. Lee needs a defensive stop. Here's the man up the gut, gain of about three or four. Nice play by, I think, Osborne that time. The defensive tackle got in the way. That's Gabriel Lacey, excuse me, who was the one that run, kind of created Nance to run in and tripped him up for a gain of just three. Lee needs a nice play here. Put it on the ground. Do something. Somebody's got to knock somebody out. Yeah, you got to have playmakers on defense, too. And there's a few out there. They just have to get into the mental mode to strip the football when they're tackling and do, do things such as that. Gabriel Lacey, Cordero Mumphy, and Ricky Sherfield are the defensive linemen for Lee. A 3-3-5 three, three, defensive set. Second down and seven. Power eye. Virato. Oh, they ran the little, oh, nice play. Jacoby McKenzie, or is that Trevor Reed? And that, my friends, is somebody studying great film because they ran that little sneaking around to the fullback, and everybody else, Randy, went to the far side, and Trevor Reed blows it up. So does Mumphrey. They lost a yard. And that's the play that Lee beat Dallas Carter on in 97, the wraparound exactly handoff. Right. And I'll tell you what, it's a good play call, but two or three white shirts are there to read the play and follow, follow the fullback and the ball, more importantly, to make the stop. Hanby loses a yard. Third and eight now. 
Shotgun Vitato. Welch in motion. Three receivers this way. Back to throw Vitato. Has pressure. Throws the screen. Nance. They got him. Knocked him down. Fumbles the football, but he lands on it. Bo Bambry. And Lee will call timeout with 51 seconds to go as they ran that fake screen one way, threw it back the other way, and if he wouldn't have thrown that as high as he did, it's seven points for Lee because somebody was right there. I think it was Sherfield. Well, there's one. Back to punt is Jeff Jones. He averages only 25 punt a point a yards per punt. Almost blocked it. Line drive punt. End over ran, and it's a horrible punt. Yep. It should be at about the 48-yard line of Robert E. Lee, and that's exactly where they mark it at the 49. Eric Ajiki came after him, and he just goes end over end, only 18 yards. And Lee's coaching staff, Randy, obviously felt like they could get to it, and they came after him. It forces him to kick it straight out of bounds. And Ajiki took the correct angle, too, coming from a side view, kind of, sort of, sliced his body out wide and just barely misses the punt, and it causes Jones to boot it to the left-hand side, the near side of the field on a bad punt. Shotgun, Josh Hill, four receivers set. They got them all in there. T.Y. the up back. Center is Larman. Shotgun to Josh. Has time, steps up. Now rolls far side. Now throws he's got a man open and he dropped it boy John Williams was wide open and Josh throws it right behind him he would have had at least 12 to 15 yards and it would have been able to get out of bounds as well lots of time came off there 34 seconds it's second down and 10 but Trinity Simpson in the slot far side Amy and Williams are the wideouts Bush in the slot back to throw seven on seven time swing pass T.Y. 40 get out of bounds he does after about seven yards and there's a hit out of bounds and a flag that's the second time, that's the second time that Trinity has hit Tyrone out of bounds. It was not really a vicious hit, but he did nudge him. And after a gain, Randy, of seven yards, Matt Stewart shoved him out of bounds. The clock stopped, and then they get 15 more. And boy, Steve, line weaver's got to be just insane on that call. Well, at the 29-yard line, 25 seconds remaining. Josh back to throw. Steps up, pass. Simpson at the 13, first down, clock will stop with 18 seconds to go. Very nice touch, gain of 18 yards and a timeout, Lee, with 17 seconds remaining first half. Back in one minute on News Talk 600, KTBB. Go in the half, 22-22 tie between Robert E. Lee and Eunice Trinity, and Lee with a first down at the Trinity 12 on the pass of 17 yards. Josh Hill, 7 of 9. 7 of 8 for 99 yards. He's also running in twice. Amy and Simpson far side. Bush, long receiver near side with a tight end. Back to throw. Hill sets up the middle screen. That is Giles. Can he get outside? At the 10, at the 5, he will score! And there's a flag down. There is a flag down and they're going to bring it back. Jacob, Amy, a flag comes down as he goes into the end zone. And I think it might be holding or an illegal man downfield. And, folks, there's only five seconds left. And John Giles did a fantastic job of getting around the corner. Walter Simpson, by the way, with a great block. And I knew it. Did I just say, what did I tell you yep. guys in the last break? Time out. Yeah. When you have a personal foul like that and you're on the road, you're going to see something the other way. An illegal block in the back. Oh. Craig Smoke, did you get any kind of look at who it might have been? Jacob Amy might have been down there. No, I was right here with the play where he scored at, and all I saw was a beautiful uh, block by Walter Simpson, and uh, that's about it. I never really saw anybody getting blocked in the back. Five seconds to be a 31-yard field goal, but we'll have to wait till they set it all up. Five seconds to go. Boy, that thing came late as John Giles turned the corner. And it came from the backside judge who's standing in the end zone throwing the ball at the middle of the field behind the play, which took off to the far side of the field. As that well. was Giles' second catch, by the way. Josh Hill, his brother Preston, the junior, is a quarterback, will be the holder at the 21. It's a weird angle for a left-handed. It's on the far hash. Giles is the deep snapper. Long field goal here. Josh kick long enough, and it is good. How about the clutch of Josh Hill? 25-22. Robert E. Lee up by three. It has been a wild first half. And Lee has Peyton Price and Apudica up front at about the 20, and Jason Williams and Tony Bush, who has scored the deep men at about the five. Brad Royal, excuse me, and Peyton Price, the up men at the 20. 
and kicking off is Palos. He has pooched it every time and he does it again and Lee will care fair catch at the 20 and they dropped it and it is on the ground and I think John Williams or Jason Williams has recovered for Robert E. Lee and the up man for Lee number 85 that time had that go through his hands that is 85 Michael Mason I believe all right here's Lee's offense Josh Hill, the quarterback, has run for two, thrown for one. Also a two-point conversion to Temple, and a pass was good. Black Banks, Bailey, Culp, and Holland up front. Actually, Blake Larman, excuse me, will start at center, the senior. Lee runs play action, Josh Hill. Going sideline, caught, first down, 40 midfield. Giles down to the 45-yard line of Trinity in a very nice opening 25-yard chunk for Robert E. Lee down to the 45-yard line. First down, play action. Now this is when you have great schemes and do you follow them up and on the tackle that time was Sione Vitae for the uh, Trojans. First down, Josh Hill is having himself a heck of a game throwing and running the football. 25 yards that time to Giles who has three catches for 41. They run that Outside zone run, Williams turns the corner and gets the corner. 30 and steps out of bounds, or does he? He does at the 27-yard line. Jason Williams did not have a chance, Randy, to get involved at all in the first half with two carries for seven yards, but a nice turn of the corner that time for 18. Well, he just takes right off, and he stretches the play out. He, he jukes the defender, and actually, had he not run out of room just slightly, he stepped out of bounds, and he would have skated on down the sideline, tippy-toed, as it were. But Lee gets two big plays to start the second half. They've had some young guys on offense step up with Amy and Williams. 11-31, we've just started the second half, third quarter. Amy split far side, Price in motion. T.Y. bounces, no, it's Williams, bounces it off left. Tackle and will get a couple of very tough yards as he again met Lolatai. Tuala Lolatai is 246-pound senior for Euless Trinity in its second down and eight. Player coming up short, kind of late now, but he gets up. Sam Banks with the block. Well, play action pass on first down opens up the rest of the half here, David. They're able to stretch the field out. All of a sudden, Trinity's got to look for that because that's really the first time tonight that they've had play action pass that's worked. Yeah, and the first time he's had time off play action True. pass because usually he was on a bootleg running for his life because somebody was in his face. He throws again here. Josh steps up. Pass sideline, caught into one knee, and I tell you what, Walter Simpson makes the catch. That is a dart on a nice lead block to give him time by Peyton Price in the pocket, but Walter Simpson runs as good a route for a high school kid as you'll see. First down at the 12 and a gain of 14 yards. Yeah, turns the corner, and Josh just has to slightly roll out of the pocket, but he throws a dart. And the only person that could catch it was Simpson, and he did nicely around his kneecaps. Very safe, grabbed it on his knees. A stacked backfield up the middle, Peyton Price. That's a nice stop by the safety, and the umpire gets toppled down as well. Peyton gets about seven, though, on that little blast trap. They call that 32-fold, and he's down to the five-yard line, and Tomko makes a touchdown-saving play. It's second down and three. Craig Smoke on the sideline. Yeah, Sam Banks is actually not in the game right now. He's on the sidelines. He's still got his pants on, but his shoulder pads are all off, and I don't think he'll be able to return. Sounds something like a head injury. Steven Christian, the left guard now, the senior. Here's Lee Tyrone up the middle, kind of scoots down inside the three, very close to a first down. Peyton Price, that's an ISO lead that time, and Tyrone just got in between the tackles. Did you watch Monday Night Football with Green Bay last week? I was hearing you hear the linebackers talk about how they couldn't get a clean shot on Amon Green. He was kind of fluid. He was kind of slippery. Tyrone's got that same ability. Brad Royal in the game for Lee. It's first and goal. Pulling guard, all, all they do, and Lee's just going to power football. And a nice surge up front. Almost gets him inside the one, but just outside the one for Robert E. Lee. Protect it, hold on to it, and get it in the end zone. Power, backfield. Josh Hill, T.Y., near the goal line, tries to lean in, and I think he is, does he get the call? The umpire will unpile the players, and they say he was down, even though his body was at least his butt and more in the end zone. I mean, Tyrone's not a big guy, but he was yeah. halfway in the end zone. It's now second down and goal. He got a couple. Full house backfield with Royal and Price, the up backs, the full back and offset eye back behind 
Josh Hill. T.Y. quarterback keep is Josh Hill. Still no signal as they want to make sure he is into the end zone. Brad Royal says it is, and it is. Touchdown on the first possession. Lee goes three minutes, three seconds, and they score after, remember, recovering the kickoff that they had bobbled, and what a nice way. We talked about the first play of the first series of the second half. It comes back to fruition. Yep, eight plays, 70 yards, and as you mentioned, 303, and the smartest call is to have the quarterback just push over the center's rear end, and he did just that for six. Hey, Josh guys, Hill. Josh Hill three has scores. this finger, this thumb that's basically just, it looks like a banana has been peeled. Here comes the extra point attempt. Preston the hold. John Giles the snap. The kick is up and I think he got it. Oh, he missed it. Oh, no. He missed it off to the left. But it's 31-22 with 8.57 to go. Josh Hill is playing with a battered, bruised and I'm talking about gaping gash, all sorts of scars on his, on his thumb, uh, Randy. Is he is 10 of 11 for 148 yards. He's thrown a touchdown to Bush. He has scored three touchdowns in this game on the ground. Well, he's been the man of the hour. and Thus far, he's uh, proving his worth and his mettle and his toughness, and he takes that touchdown. So you got to wonder, Lee, is obviously what they did in the first half. They were able to come out and do what they wanted offensively here. They threw it. They ran it. They did misdirection. They did play action. They ran the ball up the gut. And now what changes do they make defensively? We may have seen a little bit of that towards the end of the first half when they started bringing the kitchen sink, the plumber, and even the Drano the whenever works, they yeah. needed to. Micah Johnson, he also has been kicking off for Robert E. Lee to give Josh a little bit of H2O. Lee's coverage team last time also remember the great tackle by Jeremy Moore. Here's a line drive kick to Itiaki at the four. Now looks for the wedge. And he got outside, 20, 25. Micah Johnson is there, but he gets out to the 40. There were two lead defenders on the coverage who had a great angle, and they ran right by Itiaki. And he goes, instead of where he should have been knocked down at about the 20, he is out to the 41-yard line. And that's where Trinity, the Trojans, will start off on offense. It's Ede. Ede, okay. Yes. Uh, Chris Ede, didn't want him to get it wrong. And Allen Austin, the tight end. Trevor Vitato is the quarterback they go left tackle nice job by Nick Mitchell and again playing at the line of scrimmage Randy which you mentioned the receivers Hammock yep. and Welch Nance and Itiaki are the guys along with Handy who kind of rotate at the back position gain of nothing second down and 10. Yeah Lee's essentially gone to an eight-man box and uh, they're gonna dare Trinity to beat him deep and we'll just see how this pays uh, if it pays dividends for Lee they get a three and out here, and that could be a big signal for the rest of the half. It's almost like you're going to have to score. Either team is going to have to score almost on every possession to win this game. If you can get a possession where they don't score, it is almost more of a double bonus. Huge, yeah. Gabriel Lacey in the game of defensive tackle, 66 for Lee. Here's the handoff to Nance up the middle in the secondary. 50, 40 into Lee territory. Big, huge hole right up the gut. The safety of Jiki makes no, it's Micah Johnson on the stop, but a big gain of first down. Trinity at the lead 25-yard line. Lee with a three-man front. Back to throw. No, here's the draw play. Itiaki runs in the defensive tackle and leans for maybe a couple. Bo Bambry was there for the first hit. Lee's defense again crippled and playing as hard as they can. Randy just scratching and clawing. And boy, you love it. These kids are playing as hard as they are. But undermanned right now, Bobby Osborne was there. Well, they're playing a pretty talented offensive team in themselves. And Trinity has two great little backs. The quarterback, yeah, he's not had a great game. He had the one big hookup in the first half. But if they can get their passing game going, they're going to be dangerous when they start district play next week. 7-10. Yeah, they've got some, they have some offense. They've got to figure out what's wrong with the defense. Yeah. They're there in position to make plays. They don't make them sometimes. Second and seven, Scroggins in motion. Offset eye. Itiaki bounces it inside. He should have gone outside. He was open. Lance Heap was there to close it down, Randy. And you kind of both, you and I at the same time, said he, he should have kind of hooked that thing outside and given the gimp leg, and he kind of had a chance. So Ron Black checks in his third and five. Yeah, they're running from the near side hash. He would have had weight beyond the other side of the hash and just complete green all the way to the goal line. But uh, I, I think it's just a great defensive play by Heap as he turned him back inside to and make he the had, stop. And he had an, a receiver, I think, Craig Smoke. Did he not right inside of his face, kind of uh, 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 occupying his time? Yeah, you're right about that. Lee, the defense, trying to make a big stand here. If they can do this, it'll really put Lee in good position to hold the game. Lee jumps off sides. Vitato throws the fade pattern. Great coverage on Welch by Micah Johnson, but 
Robert E. Lee has probably just given Trinity a first down unless they were drawn off sides, but I don't think they were. I think this is going to go against Lee because Trinity is not moving backwards. And, boy, that's a tough penalty for a defense. But you know what? Again, why they're doing that is they're trying to maybe guess the snap to try to get some sort of leverage, but that's against Ricky Sherfield, and James Wilson will come in, and Sherfield now has to visit with the coaches on the far side. Well, I believe First down. I believe Saron Black is in on the field too, David, at defensive tackle. I uh, don't know if you mentioned that or not, but uh, he puts a big body up against a big body straight up the gut. James Wilson, 82, Saron Black, and Ricky Sherfield, or Cordero Mumphrey, excuse me, are the defensive linemen. First down, Trinity at the 15 of lead, down nine. Pitch back to Itiaki, looks to cut it up. He does inside the 15, down to the 10, and a gain of six tough yards. Ajiki on the stop. Matt Uzel on the stop. Second down at about four and a half. They run the draw to Itiaki outside at the five, down at the three. Got through the tackle of Bo Bambry. Knocked down by Ajiki. And Quet Nicholson and Mumphrey were there, but it's first and goal Trinity now as he picks up seven yards. And that play is the one that Javorski Lane, of course, had a lot. That's kind of the play Cedric Benson runs yeah. for Texas, is it not? Yeah, it is. If you get the lead blocker out in front of the defensive end and pull, pinch him back, that time the defensive end, Mumphrey, got to the ball carrier. He just, he just an arm tackle is not going to bring down the strength of Etiaki. All right, somebody has to kind of shoot the gap here. First and goal Trinity. And they uh, are going to reset. There's still plenty of time. Now down to 10 on the play clock. At the lead, two and a half. Double tight set. H back in motion. Straight eye. Itiaki, the deep man, up the middle, dives, scores. He ran right over the top of that pile. He kind of has a little Sam Bam Cunningham in him. And he can take off and go. I bet he's a heck of a long jumper. And they kind of just ran right over the lead defense that time on that drive. Remember, there was a huge third down and five early in the drive, but they got the big run from Dimitri Nance. And now here comes Trinity back to within three with four minutes and 50 seconds to go in the third quarter. Itiaki, now we can see why he had 2,400 yards his last two years. Snap, hold by Palace, and it is good. And that extra point that Lee missed, they missed one last week. It came back to haunt them a little bit later on, and they missed one here, but they still have the lead. Red Raiders offense now, 31-29, Lee by two. Back at Pennington Field in Bedford, 31-29, Robert E. Lee up by a deuce with 4.50 to go in the third quarter. And kicking off is Palos. Trinity goes eight plays, 59 yards, and 357 to Itiaki, taking it over from two yards out, and Palos with the extra point. Lufkin now leading Nacogdoches, third quarter, 41-7. No surprise there. Here's an onside kick, and Lee's George Faber. That is a very smart play by a straight-A student that he is, George Faber. That was kind of a pooch kick. They've been going to the far side. He kind of just kind of kicked it right over the five linemen, and Faber, a middle linebacker, Makes a nice catch and goes down to his knee at the 41 great field position. That's a pretty good coaching strategy for Trinity, trying to uh, juke Lee into a mistake or, or uh, catch him off guard, if you will. And, uh, but Lee it does take over. Ryan Davenport, one of the offensive linemen for Lee, along with Larm in the center, Davenport and Culp. Black is the left tackle, and again, Christian the other guard. Here's T.Y. off left tackle, has close to 10. Close to a first down just inside Trinity territory, and he's just short of the first down. Viatai making the stop. Sioni Viatai, the backup safety. Second down in a yard. Double, nope, tight end near side. Josh, outside zone. T.Y., here's a flag. Holding call is going to bring this thing back, and instead of second down and a foot, it's now second down and 10. John Giles, the kickout block, but the umpire, that time Greg Morton, Throws the holding call from behind the play, and Robert E. Lee was in great setup, Randy. Now it's second down and long. Jacob Amy, far side. Bush in the slot. Now second and 11. Price the H-back. T.Y. the deep back right in the middle of the field. Josh Hill will set up the screen. There's nobody there. Needs a block from the official. Throws it out of bounds, and he does at the 40-yard line, just past the line of scrimmage. And what was second down and a foot is third and 11 in a game where you can't afford to give the ball up. Big play here at the 40, third and 11. 
Back to throw, steps up in the pocket, looks for a receiver, sideline pass, caught. First down, Simpson on his knees, and you got to give a lot of people up front credit for giving Josh time to throw a 13-yarder. Stewart on the coverage for Trinity, but a gain of 13 on a huge third down and 11. But, and the offensive line just does a great job of protection, and Josh is very patient. He waits for his receiver to run his route, and... Warren and Simpson runs a great route, and he's right there to make the catch down below his knees. Again. He is as good a possession receiver oh, yeah. as they've ever had. First down, and Dingle was pretty good one back when Mike's first year. Long setback is Jason Williams. They run Tyrone on the reverse. He has to get outside, and there's not much room. And he's going to be knocked down for a loss of a yard. Great play by Tomko. This guy is a big timer at 193, a 6'1 senior. Also there was Daniel Hewitt. And so was Jordan Jones, and it's now second down and about ten and a half deep. Play action, Josh. Here comes the blitz. Steps up, sideline, pass, tipped away. Great coverage. That thing was in the air a long time. Great coverage by 35 Stewart. Simpson was there, but he had to, he couldn't step into it because a defender came in with the blitz and he kind of got in Josh's face that time. And here's another third and eleven. 242 to go. Lee's up 20. A uh, 31-29, third big, quarter. As you mentioned, another big first down. Lee, by the way, was two or three in the first half on only three third down conversion attempts. And uh, another big one on this drive as well. So, crowd from Trinity on their feet, about 75% capacity on the home side. Lee's crowd is pretty disappointing tonight. Not many people are here. Third and 11. Bush, receiver near side. Josh, sideline. Intercepted, it should have been, it's incomplete. Boy, that thing was gone the other way. Number four, Vitae, Sione Vitae, whose brother played at uh, Tyner Junior College. And Josh, that thing was a long, deep out. It's incomplete, and Lee will have to punt the football tonight for the second time. Well, Vitae is reading the quarterback all the way, and all, all of a sudden, all Lee's doing is throwing to the one side of the field towards Simpson, wherever Simpson's at, which yep. is not a bad idea. Yeah. But that was just a great read from the uh, – Safety. And, and Trinity knowing that, and so, but that screen pass that was busted up, remember, and that holding call kept off yep. what looked like a nice kick start to the drive. Here's Josh, little pooch kick, turns it over, and it hits, all caught by Itiaki at the five. At the seven, ten yard line, and that's where he's dropped. Nice coverage downfield by Mitchell and then Lance Heap. Trinity now at their 11 yard line, Randy. Down by two, and Lee's offense stop. Another nice punt from Hill of 43 yards, a two-yard return. Now, Vitato, is, he's, he's confused. He's going to call timeout. 2.24 to go, third quarter, 31-29. Trinity, I don't think they had enough players in the field, and we're back in 60 seconds. Lee's up by two. 31-29, Robert E. Lee defensively needing to stop. Bobby Osborne, Sherfield, and Mumphrey, the front three. Reed on the outside. Up the gut, Itiaki. Reed on the backside makes the stop. Stopped initially, though, by I think Mumphrey was around there. And it's now second down and nine. Osborne with a slant that created some problems. Second down and eight. Minute 55 to go. Second or third quarter. Lee with Mitchell, Ajiki, Micah Johnson, and Quet Nicholson in the secondary. And Vitato in the shotgun with two setbacks next to him. Runs the draw play. Here he goes, 20, 30, Lee 40, down inside the Lee 45, down, excuse me, the 49-yard line, and there is the delay again. And they bust it up all the way to midfield, and a gain of 36 yards. They are just getting huge, massive holes to run through, and Trinity down by two at midfield. Yaki, he's about to go over 100 as well, right at midfield. Itiaki right tackle on the counter tray for a couple of yards. Uzell and Mumphrey were there for Robert E. Lee, so is Bambry. And they do a good job here the last couple of three series on first down, but then they get gas for big yardage on second. Gabriel Lacey is starting to occupy a lot of space inside. Well, Lee is bringing, well, they have just seven players in the box, David, and just a great play up the middle on the long run. And that time, they bunch up the middle with the big man, and these guys can go. When they get in the open, usually Lee has the team speed to track them down, but they, they're, they're getting that right center to center. We're talking about as, as close a distance straight line runs, and they've been able to bust a couple of them big. Offset eye, second down at the Lee 49. Pitch back, Itayaki. No, that's Nance who's hemmed in. 
He's still in. Look at it. He ends up getting a couple of yards. Mumphrey came in, slanted in. So did Nick Mitchell. Lance Heap on the stop finally along with 66, Gabriel Lacey. They had him hemmed in for a loss of about three or four. He picks up two. Here is a monstrous third down, third and six. Well, the pursuit for Lee's defense was a lot better on that play. It's just that the Nance was able to just juke yeah. his way and slither his way away for That's a That's been the difference yep. tonight. You know, not only, again, they're missing Stripling. Van Zan has played very sparingly. Skates into Haven. But they also, it's the, it's the, it's the swarming speed whenever a guy hears a flag down or a timeout, not sure. The umpire blows the whistle. Play clock was at two, and there's a flag for what could be procedure against Trinity, and that's a big penalty against Line Weaver's Trojans. Nope. Time Somebody out. called a timeout. Big, 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 big play. Jacoby McKenzie comes in at defensive tackle for Lee. Trinity down two. Start of the fourth quarter. They have third down and six, Randy, at the Lee 46-yard line in a game where neither defense has done much. Lee dances around. He almost jumped off sides. But Tato back to throw. Over the middle. Pass caught. First down. He was wide open at the 40. Down to the 36. Down to the 34. Uzel makes the stop. And that is his bread and butter. Trey Welch has eight catches, 96 yards, and three touchdowns. And he picked up 12 yards there in a the first down. He's a good little uh, possession receiver, David. He sets up in the slot, runs just a 10-yard turnaround pattern. And he's wide open. Nobody at home for Lee. Makes the catch, and three or four white shirts are there to convert. One receiver downfield, and they found him. First and ten at the Lee 33-yard line. Vitato in the shotgun again. Here comes the blitz. Wide receiver slip screen, 30. Nice block downfield. He will score. 10, 5, Trinity leads. Robert E. Lee, 25 seconds into the fourth quarter, and they just beat Lee with the same play that Lee scored on the play from Josh Hill to Tony Bush. 33 yards, and they are getting yardage in huge chunks. Rico Hammock on the reception. He makes, he reads the block, too. He helps out himself by following his blocker, which Welch laid a good one out on a least secondary player, and he cut back to the near side and uh, took it home for the six for Trinity. And Lee already with four defensive starters not playing tonight, while Dominique Van Zandt is coming in on this extra point, but he has basically only been in a, for maybe a handful of snaps now. They're starting left defensive end, number 40, Ricky Sherfield, the senior. He is coming off. Weldon Thompson and the training staff that does such a great job helping him off the field. And a defense that cannot afford any injuries may have another one. Back up, of course, he and James Wilson have been in rotation anyway. Lance Heap comes over to the sideline as Lee tries to figure out. Trinity going for two. 11.34 to go. 35-31. This game reminds me quite a bit, I'll get to that in just a moment, of a game I did against LBJ and Austin that Lee had back in the early 90s. Quarterback Batatu with a man in motion. They run it up the middle, and the ball is loose on the ground, and Lee will knock him down. But that's for a two-point conversion. Matt Uzel in the stop for Robert E. Lee, but the damage was done. 35-31, Trinity now up by four with 11-34 in game. Back in one minute on KTBB and an update on JT and Kilgore. Well, 26 seconds into the fourth quarter, 35-31, Trinity 0-2 on the year. Leading Robert E. Lee, which just last week was at one time ranked number eight in the state, but their defense has been giving up tons of yardage, lots of players injured, 400 yards in total offense. Here's a Pudica from the 20. 25, no, that's Brad Royal, excuse me. Out to the 27, he went a lot of ways sideways and got nothing out of it. Now there's some pushing and shoving, and Trinity's going to get hit with a 15-yard penalty. Boy, they've got some issues. When it comes to post-play penalties, getting involved in scuffles, 31, that is Taylor Doty, is going to be hit for a 15-yard late hit for pushing and shoving against Robert E. Lee's number 35. I think it was, no, it was 85 for Robert E. Lee. Michael Mason, the dead ball, personal foul against Trinity. Oh, you got to be kidding me. They are going to call it offsetting personal fouls. Michael Mason didn't do anything. But now the officials backing up the Lee offense. 
They're going to call this offsetting personal fouls. After the play was over, Mason was having his face mask grabbed by 31 Doty. The official looked around. Mason stood his ground, and then Doty hit him in the head. They threw the flag, and they're going to call it offsetting calls. 11.27 to go, but you know, Lee doesn't want to have to get any help. They've got to do it themselves. Offset eye. Last time they had the ball, here's a procedure call. No, they didn't do it. Josh Hill throwing deep to Price. Overshoots him. Did he catch it? No. He had to turn around the secondary man. Daniel Hewitt kind of got over there and then had to force Peyton to turn against his body, and it's incomplete. And now, Randy, we thought about having to score every time that Lee had the football to have a chance. Now when you're behind, you really have to yeah, do that. Yeah, they have to do that. Trinity goes six plays and 90 yards for 250 off the clock and uh, scored on the first play of the fourth quarter. After going 12 of 13 to start the game, or 11 of 13 to start the game, Josh has now thrown three straight incomplete passes. And they need something, and they have not been able to do much in the ground. Offset eye, Peyton Price up the middle, 30, 35, 40, first down. 41 two-yard line, gain of 14 yards, Craig Smoke. Yeah, speaking of injuries, I haven't got an update on Ricky Sherfield, but Chris Apudica's on the sideline with his uh, ankle wrapped in ice, so I'll try to get further information on that as soon as possible. Boy, when it rains, it pours, doesn't it? Injuries everywhere, and a team that's pretty thin right now on defense, and Apudica, who's a kick returner and a third-string tailback now, having issues with the ankle. Chris Apudica, Jacob, Amy, and Williams... Bush now in the slot as well with Price. Jason Williams, the deep back. Nothing there, lost a yard. Down in 12. Josh, quarterback, bootleg sacked. He is blown away at a holding call to boot. Even with the holding call, he may have been sacked unless he grabbed a face mask. And this game, with 10-10 to go, is going all black and white right now as Hill loses 10 yards and the sack, and that's with the holding call, which they'll decline. It's third down and 20. What? Four-man front. Here comes the blitz. Josh in trouble. Gets away. Sacked. Back at the 20. Inside the 20 and loses 13 more. And this Trinity defense has done the damage. They have now stopped Lee on two consecutive possessions, and they blow up the play for a loss of 13 more. Wow, Mino Ali, 6'1", 265, gets the sack, and Josh ran that way, and he just fought off the blocker and pulled him down by his neck. And uh, Ali has two sacks tonight, and Lee had a first and 10 at the 41. They are punting from their 18, and now the time is a factor, not to mention down by four with 9.30 to go. Josh Hill not taking a very deep, not very far back. He's had a great year. Line drive, end over end kick that hits at midfield and bounces sideways. Brawls inside the 45 to the 42. 40-yard 40 punt, no return. And 9.07 to go, and it was Lee, remember, with a nine-point lead. Trinity with the ball with a four-point lead. Yeah. It's offense. Scroggins in motion. Fullback up the middle. Gain of about three or four. Itiaki, and he's still on his feet, and he will get nine. Boy, that's just effort. Handy. Handy. A Lederick Handy for a gain of eight. Well, he runs really hard. He gets hit. About three yards into the secondary. And, and another Red Raiders player, Eric Ajiki, the safety, the 180-pound senior who is a Division I recruit, is being attended to by Weldon Thompson. And he's grabbing initially his arm, and now he looks to be okay. Ever since second down and a foot, yep. Lee with the lead, and the holding call that you've got to overcome. Yep. They have done nothing on offense. They pretty much went flat, and uh, I don't know how you respond to that. You have to make a stop defensively and not allow this game to get any further out of hand or fall further behind. Sophomore to carry in Cuba, who's going to be a great one. The sophomore, six foot, two hundred eighty-five pounder, now in the game, and he's been nursing a problem with an injury as well. Eight minutes and forty seconds, and Trinity doesn't care. They just want to take their time and eat up the yardage. Second down and three as Handy got eight. 
Off tackle, Nance, 40, hit by Cuba, first down. Bo Bambry from behind the play, and Dimitri Nance gets 15 yards down inside the lead 40. Trinity, this is getting serious here. Up the middle, Nance misses a tackle, bounces outside. Cuba there, what a nice play. Wow. That is a huge play by the sophomore, and you can see where he came from, Randy, way back in the secondary to close on Nance, but Nance would not have bounced outside had it not been for some missed tackles. Yep. Wide receiver swing pass, 30, first down. Close to it, at least, at the 27-yard line. And they're going to give him the 26-yard line. Heap knocked him out of bounds, but a gain of nine in the first down. And they're knocking on the door again. Lee with about seven men on the line of scrimmage. Deep pitch back. Nance, right tackle. 20, 10, 5. Wow. Two, three missed tackles. And Dimitri Nance does a dance. And it's 41-31 Trojans with 6.43 to go. And he went down the sideline after he broke two more tackles. Well, all he needed was a little daylight. And he just ran through arm attempts at his waistline. And he hits about the 15. And he does a little, little bit of a high step right down the sideline, tight roping into the end zone for six for the Trinity Trojans. Extra point attempt from Palos to give Trinity an 11 point lead with under seven minutes remaining. Snap, Welch with the hold and the kick is perfect. And it's 42-31 Trojans. This is a team that gave up 56 to Midland Lee and they're up by 11 back in one minute. Robert E. Lee started off the second half scoring a touchdown and taking the lead 31 to 22 after a field goal by Josh Hill right before the half. And since that time, it has been a landslide for the Trojans. They have 348 yards rushing, 448 yards offense. Who would have thunk it? Back deep, Tony Bush, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Midfield, he's maybe going to go. 30, 20, 10, gone. Touchdown. Tony Bush goes 97 yards. And he got away with a clip at about the 30. They got away with a clip at about the 30. Tony Bush goes 97 yards. 6.27 to go, and Lee doesn't need the offense on that drive. And Lee may have to take a timeout, which you surely don't want to do here, and they're going to have to do it. 42-37. Lee is down by five, and I'm telling you, Tony Bush turned the corner at about the 40, then he really turned to the midfield, and somebody in a white jersey, maybe Jason Williams or Roy, I'm not sure who it was, for some reason, as Tony was turning on the Jets, hit somebody from behind at about the 30, Randy, and got away with one right there. Otherwise, they would have had to bring it back. Lee scores, and they are going for two, 42-37. They can score here a two-point conversion, which they already have won, and Lee is in mass confusion. Mass confusion. They don't have a center. Now Blake Larman runs in at the last second. Play clock has not started. That is probably the best news for Lee because now they do. Boy, that official really gave him a break because after the timeout, though, it was a timeout, so you do get the full 60. T.Y., the lone setback. Murphy and Giles, double tight set. Williams and Simpson to this side. Play action, Josh. Now has to roll to his right. Going for two, pass caught. Yes, two-point conversion. John Williams makes the catch, and Josh Hill somehow bought himself a lot of time, and you got to give John Williams great credit for running towards the quarterback. It is 42-39 now, Robert E. Lee, with 6.27 to go. 6.27 remaining. In this game, we saw 44-33 last week. It's 42-39 Trinity so far this week after Tony Bush electrifies the Lee crowd. Micah Johnson, little pooch kick, bounces around at the 20, Nance at the 10. Trying to go outside, now hemmed in, we think. Uh-oh. At the 20, there's a block. And they got away with one, two, and Dimitri Nance... So they had him at the 17-yard line, and he gets out to the 30, and so Lee got away with the clip, 
and so did Trinity. So it's now even. The problem for Lee now is somehow this defense, which has struggled, beaten, battered, has to come up with a stop. We've been told now that Kilgore has beaten John Tyler in a defensive struggle at Trinity Mother Francis Rowe Stadium 7-6. to six. Ajiki is back in the game at safety for Robert E. Lee. That's good news. First and 10, Trinity. Tight end near side, deep pitch back to Itayaki, and Lance Nix trips him up for a gain of just a yard. Lance Heap, excuse me, Lance Nix, the Rangers center fielder, who is a heck of a quarterback from Midland High School, by the way. Gain of a yard, second down and nine. He comes up and just beats off the block of the pulling muff tile, and he just defeats him. He squirms right by him, actually. He misses him, and he's there to meet the runner in a nice <laughs> defensive play. What a game. Man, have we seen some offense. Man. Not a lot of defense, although Trinity had two huge stands on defense when they sacked Josh Hill to set up their last scoring drive. McKenzie, the tight a defense. They got four men up front now. Trinity's going to try to pound it. Vitato, wide receiver, pass, caught, hammock at the 37, just short of the first down. And this sets up a third down and a couple of three yards. Micah Johnson was there. And I tell you what, Hammock's a guy they've thrown to him three times for now 97 yards, and they need to throw to him much more because he's a good one. Yeah, he is. He had the 56-yarder in the first half, and then he had the 26-yard touchdown, actually 33-yard touchdown pass, and this time a uh, seven-yard gain. Big, big play on third down coming. Well, we've seen that. Lee has not been able to come up with what? They've had one third down stop, Randy, and that yeah. was right before the end of the first half. And if you can force this team to punt it, they're not very good at covering it. Double tight set. Vitato up the middle, Itiyaki, no, he did not make it, and Lee comes with a bull blitz, Cordero Mumphrey, and if you're Steve Lineweaver, what do you do? You have the ball at the 38-yard line, you have an offense that is so tough, four minutes and 30 seconds to go, your punting game has been horrendous all year, you've had three kick returns for touchdowns, two of those were punts, I think he's going to let the clock run down and then call timeout, and he might go for it at fourth and two at the 38-yard line. He is. Yeah, he's, he might go. try to dry Lee, dry, uh, dr uh, get Lee to jump off sides, too. Mm -hmm. yep. Wow. From his 38, the big monsters in front. Lee trying to jump around. Vitato, they do. Now he holds him. Oh, somebody moved, but he got back just in time. That's Ricky Sherfield. Timeout, Trinity. Mauatau and Ede. From their own 38, you'll hear the crowd on whether he makes it or not. Vitato, up the middle, first down. He got it. Boy, they had some people in his face, and he got it. They had somebody, they got somebody in, and he got the first down. Wow. Now you got to start being careful with the timeouts, and I don't know if they'll have a better chance than what they had right there. And Steve Lineweaver, a man who went for two, when he had a chance to kick an extra point to tie for a state championship, remember, and missed it in 95 with Commerce losing to Sealy 21-20, goes for it from his own 38. And really, if you think about it, it's probably what Mike Owens would have done himself if he was in the same situation. Sure, and it's really a smart move because you're, you really control the line of scrimmage pretty much from the outset today. That's what you just hope for yeah. a bad snap or something, but then you're hoping that somebody else makes the mistake instead of you making the play. Here's the deep pitch back. This is Dimitri Nance. He's got about two or three. Nice job for Lee defensively. Down at the bottom is 66, Gabriel Lacey and Quet Nicholson. And I wonder, I did not see Saran Black in the game on that fourth and about a yard or two, the 320-pound right tackle or left tackle. Lee continues to bring people in and out. Second down and seven, and Trinity just milking each play, and they took a long time to blow the 25-second clock that time, which is down to 14, and the game clock at three. Nance has 218 yards. Second down and seven. Vitato up the middle, Itayaki for a couple. Down at the 45, and Lee might start to use the timeout after the next play if they can get a nice stop. If they can get Reed, a stop, right. At, on the stop for Lee, and it's down inside three minutes. Now Lee has to have a stop near the line of scrimmage. Well, you got to make a stop here. This yeah, is it. You've got, you've got to make a stop on third down, and you cannot give up another first down. Clock is down to 225. Play clock is down to 15 here, so they'll take the snap with about 205 to 207 to go. Vitato, the quarterback, 
at the 45. They're on 45. Trinity's up by three against the lead defense. Batato, deep pitch back at the 45. Nice stop. He got a first down anyway. And a penalty flag for a 15-yard face mask against Robert E. Lee. And that might do it with 2.01 to go in the game. Yeah. Nance is a tough young man. And Lee with a face mask. And he still broke the tackle. And it should be a 15-yarder. Maybe just a five. Should be 15 because his neck got spun around. And Lee starting to drop their heads. This is not over. You have two timeouts left. 2:01 to go in the game. Your offense can score on any play. The problem now is Trinity has taken the ball down to the lead 45-yard line and now even deeper with the penalty flag. Well, Lee's just unable to make a stop when they need to, and you've got to credit Trinity in their play calling. And of course, they're just they're winning. The, they've won the game pretty much at the line of scrimmage. Oh, they're a monstrous up. offensive line, and Lee playing without the four defensive starters, but. Their depth is obviously very thin. Those kids out there, Uzel, Bambry, Reed, and Heap, have been playing as hard as they can. But again, you, after them, you have no depth. So normally you'd be able to rotate a few people. So you're going basically with the same guys against a physical team. And now under two minutes to go in the game. Minute 43 to go. Lee has two timeouts remaining here. And now they take the tight end and go in motion. Up the middle, Hanby. And he got about three or four. Lee's got to take a timeout. Take a timeout. Nope, they don't. Now they do. And the clock goes down five more seconds to a minute 25 left in the game. Bambry on the stop, and Lee will only have one timeout left, and they may not have enough time even with the stop here. They're going to have to have a, a big turnover. Second and seven. Vitato, Nance, right tackle, first down, ball game. Probably over now. He was hit at the line of scrimmage, broke two tackles, down inside the 35 to the 32, and now that probably will do it. Lee has one timeout remaining, and this score is going to send shockwaves around the state of Texas. Well, it will, David, but you've got to give credit to a great coaching job by Line Weaver and his staff, and they, they've run their play They've, they've run their game plan to perfection. They've done what they wanted to do. They know they have a, probably have a little bit of a weakness def defensively, right. but they've just shorn Lee's defense up for over 400. And now hours, if so. you're Robert E. Lee, you start to hope that you get the Haven back. They, they play Rockwall. They don't play this week. The bye might be just the perfect time. Clock now under a minute, and Lee may not even use the timeout. Matato takes the snap, and he goes down on a knee at the 36. Under 50 seconds to go in a timeout is pretty much irrelevant here. Euless Trinity, 0-2, a dangerous team, and now Lee takes a timeout with 39 seconds remaining. It is second down, 14. Trinity just needs to take one more snap, and that will probably be the last play of the game. Lee cannot stop the clock, but Tato takes the snap, and that will probably do it. If it gets to 25 and he blows the whistle and he's taking his sweet time as he probably should at 29, looks back, blows the whistle, and they won't have to run another snap. And that's going to do it. Our final score, Trinity has won their first game in their first home game of the year as they stun Robert E. Lee. Final score, Trinity 42 and Lee 39. They're taking one more snap even though they don't have to. This, the play clock is off, and that's the game. And Batato does a dance as he should, as this football team, 0-2, has beaten what was the number eight team in the state of Texas a week ago tonight, and Lee's now given up in back-to-back -back games 86 points.